Hey there, fellow explorers. Today is a sea day. We are just relaxing. We got some coffee. We had a croissant, a little cinnamon roll at the cove. It's nice. The cove is the adult only coffee, so we get to lounge in the adult only spaces and have a nice. I'm having a hazelnut latte. I'm having a try. But today's gonna be pretty chill. We might do a trivia, maybe. I don't know, we don't have one planned. We have an alcohol tasting. Oh, that's right, we have rum tasting tonight. Um, oh, and the DVC meet and greet is this afternoon. Um, but other than that, it's just it's gonna be a pretty chill day. And it's formal day. Oh, yeah. So I think we'll get like a few shots of today, um, but honestly, I think today is probably gonna be lumped in with like tomorrow. Probably. Cause Tomorrow we're in Sweden. Yeah, Nina's I think today we're just gonna chill and take it easy and we'll show you what we show you and we won't what we won't. We also like <laughs> super overslept today. Oh my god, you guys we slept for like eleven and a half hours. We went to bed at ten and woke up at like nine thirty. <laughs> That's insane for us. Yeah. Anyway, so enjoy this relaxing day with us. You ready? I'm ready. Let's sit here. Deal. <laughs> Where are they going? What all they see? It's J and T exploring. So here's a question, Jamie. Yes. Yeah. Can anyone cook? Anyone can cook, but hold on, I can't remember the line. Anyone can cook, but only the fearless can be great. <laughs> yeah. Ready to win trivia? Sure. Of course we are. <laughs> It's Jamie's first bite of an Impossible Burger. Why does it taste like meat? Does it? All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're enjoying it, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and a subscribe. Hey everybody. It is some time later. Uh, a lot of time It's late. a lot of time later. The last thing we recorded was bingo. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't win. No. We were so close though. Yeah. It's okay. It's fun anyway. We yeah, really we, love bingo. We love bingo. Go to bingo. We have a great time. Yeah. It's really fun. The cast members make it just a blast. After bingo, we went to the Golden Mickeys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Golden. Super cute show. Mm-hmm. I love it. Gave me the feels. Every time. Mm -hmm. I cried. Uh, and then after the Golden Mickeys, we changed. It was formal night. Yeah. Tonight. So we got dressed up. And we went down. They have like a like a welcome reception on formal night where you get free drinks. You're supposed to, yeah, you're supposed to mingle with like the captain and the crew of the ship. Characters all come out in cute, like, formal attire. Mm -hmm. It's super cute. A lot of people just, like, stand in line and get photos with the characters, obviously. Or just bombard the drink servers. Yeah. Those poor drink servers. I know. Be nice to them. There's a lot of alcohol flowing. A lot of people mm -hmm. in the atrium. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so just be forewarned. But it is a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And it's fun to see everyone, like, dressed up. Yeah, it feels fancy. Yeah. And then we went to dinner, which was at Royal Palace tonight. Yep. I, I uh, got the lobster and shrimp. Mm-hmm. And I got the... What was the other one I got? Duck confit. Oh, the duck confit. I love the duck confit. How could I forget? I also got the chilled lobster and shrimp. It's one of my favorites. It's very light. There's a lot of dill on it. It's a big deal. And then we both got the farmhouse salad. Really good salad. Very fresh. Mm-hmm. 
Um, classic salad. Yeah, there's a crostini with, like, goat cheese on it. Yeah. And then I actually went for a vegetarian option. I did the mushroom stuffed pasta in a vegetable broth. It was good. It's not my favorite. I'm still trying to teach myself to love mushrooms. So, um, I liked it, but it wasn't my favorite thing that I've ever gotten. Yeah. But I was feeling like I needed something light, and Royal Palace can tend to be a little heavier. Very rich. Yeah, foods. most things on the menu are pretty heavy. And then I also got the creme brulee for dessert, yeah. which is the only way to go if you ask me. I but agree. I'm not a dessert person, so... I know. <laughs> Maybe don't ask us. I know. <laughs> then after dinner, we raced up to the Meridian Bar, where we had a rum tasting. Oh, it was so much fun. I feel like I learned a lot. Yeah. Um, Sometimes we, we've had great experiences in alcohol tastings and some not great. We, we went to, not so great, we went to a whiskey tasting that was like connoisseurs and like collectors of whiskey. Yeah, it wasn't my favorite. I felt very like out of place there. Yeah, we're just normal people. Yeah, but this rum tasting was a lot of fun. I feel like, I like I said, I feel like I learned a lot. Well, and the, the cast member, Gabriel, who was leading the rum tasting was so fun. Yeah. So engaging. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I really enjoyed, he was talking about how, like, there's, like, the right answer when you're, like, tasting things or the complicated answer. Right. And he was like, don't do that. It's whatever it is to you. Like, your perception of it is correct. I was like, that's nice. Because, like, sometimes, you know, if you're in, like, an alcohol tasting, like, a wine tasting or, like, whatever, you'd be like, oh, my God, what am I supposed to say? Yeah. Yeah. So I I liked... pressure. Yeah. So I liked that the person leading the class was, like... It's whatever it is to you. Yeah. Whatever you think you smell is what you smell. Whether it's in there or not. We had a small group. There was just eight of us. Mm. So I feel like when the groups are a little bit smaller, it's easier for everyone to kind of like get along and talk to one another. Sure. Um, I, I like a small group anyway. Like my favorite excursion we ever went on was seven people. Yeah. So... Well, it's nice. Everyone gets, like, individual attention. Yeah. In case you contribute. Yeah. And that was today. We have a very early morning tomorrow. And it um, is pretty late right It's now. pretty late now. So we need to get straight to bed uh, to get ready for our excursion tomorrow. Tomorrow we are in Sweden. Yeah. Nina Sam. Nina Sam. And then we are actually taking a tour of... Stockholm, Sweden. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to see the Royal Palace. It's going to be great. We'll yeah. tell you more about it tomorrow. I'm we'll, really tired. I know. <laughs> we'll we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. And now it's morning. Good morning. Or as they say in Sweden, hallo. That's not how you say good morning. Like, no, that's how you say hello, though. Yeah. I was so proud. We are now in Sweden. Mm-hmm. We just pulled in. We are surrounded by, like, forested, rocky... Little islands. islands, they're cute. Ugh. It's really pretty. I can't wait to get off the ship. First things first, we gotta get breakfast. Yeah. And coffee. We're excited. Like we said yesterday, we have a like a tour today all around Sweden. Mm-hmm. We're gonna go explore, so it's gonna be good. Yeah. But There's some places we're not allowed to take photos or videos. Um, yeah. So we won't be able to show you everything, but we'll show you what we can. Yeah, totally. And then the rest we'll just enjoy for ourselves. Yeah. You can look up online. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Let's go get breakfast. Okay.
Yeah. Should we just like live in Sweden? Uh, yeah, I think so. It's I'm, beautiful here. I'm into it. I love it. And the people's so nice. Yeah. We just got done with our walking tour and bus tour of Stockholm. What did you think? I loved it. It was so great. Yeah. We got to see the city hall and the palace, mm -hmm. walk through Old Town. We got rained on. We saw the oldest cathedral. It was absolutely breathtaking, the yeah. city of Stockholm. I yeah, yeah. would live there in a moment. Yeah. I loved it. <laughs> Super beautiful, very like reminiscent of France. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. also um, had like a Scandi vibe as well. So now we're back at Nina's Hem, which is where the ship is docked. I was just sort of wandering. We're heading down to the waterfront. Hopefully, we can find some place to eat. Maybe grab a Swedish meatball. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll see. Just one. It's just one on a toothpick to, to, to go. I don't want to put them out. It's actually really handy. On the ground here at the port, they have two little lines and the green line will take you into town if you want to go shopping. And the blue line will take you to the train station and down to the waterfront. Like, that's really sweet of them to think of that. Back on the ship now. We just had lunch. How was it? <laughs> just gonna bum around the ship the rest of the day, probably. Sounds nice. Oh, maybe we'll play mini golf. That'll be fun. Or it's a whole sea day tomorrow. We'll see. I just finished lunch, so I need an ice cream cone. back from dinner, animator's palette. Twas delicious. Mm -hmm. I got the, well I got the salmon, smoked salmon tartare and then I also got the black shuffle percets and then I got the arugula salad mm -hmm. and the steak, the beef tenderloin, and then I got the lemon ice box cake. I pretty much got the exact same thing except for my appetizer. I got the tomato tart instead. Yeah. It was the first time I've ever ordered the steak. Thomas like always gets the steak when we go to Animator's Palette. Yeah, Jamie loves and it's gonna be really hard good. <laughs> but it's the first time I have ever ordered the steak. Had a nice glass of wine. Yeah. Just relaxing. Tonight was Turtle Talk with Crush. Yep. So Crush came over and we were serving the EAC. We did the wave. Oh yeah. We were getting it. Yeah. It was fun. What a crazy day. What a good day. Yeah. Stockholm was great. Yeah. We loved it. Mm-hmm. Nina's home was beautiful. Mm-hmm. Just like full. What a full day today. Yeah. I am exhausted. Tomorrow's a sea day so we get to take it easy which is nice. Mm-hmm. We don't have anything planned except for one alcohol tasting at noon. Yeah. We have a martini tasting at noon. Everything else is sort of like, you know, we have some things we like might do, might not do. We'll see how it goes. That's how a sea day is. Yeah. Just sort of go with the flow. Yeah. Literally. I think, uh, oh, I wanted to mention one thing. We were in Sweden today and I was reminded of something I wanted to say in Germany. So whenever we travel, we really try to be as considerate as we can of wherever we go. And like, so for this trip, I made a list of, um every country that we go to and every language that we'll encounter of how to say like hello, thank you, and goodbye. It's just such a little thing you can do to be considerate in 
as a visitor in someone else's country. Hey, you know, and when we were in Germany, just saying, you know, Dankeschön for things, or saying in Sweden, just saying, like, Tag for things, like, you can tell that it really means a lot to mm-hmm. the people, like, working in the stores and the restaurants or whatever. You've made some effort to, I don't know, communicate with them in their home. Yeah. And I think, sadly, I think you can tell that they don't get it a lot. And it's, like, like Thomas said, it's just three words. So, it's pretty easy to learn three words. Yeah, I don't know. It's just important to me to always make sure that you're as respectful and travel as gratefully as possible. Yeah. For us, at least. Yeah. For me. Anyway, I'm tired. Step off your soapbox. I know, I'm done. (laughs) We're gonna head to bed. (laughs) And until next time, keep keep on exploring. exploring.